For their first game in 56 years, let's welcome Marquette Football and head coach Austin Jones. I'm your host, Instant Fame HD, and let's get straight into the first game of the Marquette University Dynasty. For the first play, kicking off to Marquette University, number 23, our corner Tyreek Dixon will be taking a knee. Marquette Golden Eagles, you can see Austin Jones' first coaching game of his career, so let's hope it goes well for a long career. First and 10 from the 25 yard line is a handoff to Rasad Burst to the left side for five yards. That is the first play for Marquette's offense in the history of, for 56 years. Going into a third and six, Dar Darren Walker draws back the throw, throws it to Keontae McDowell on the sideline. He tries to make a move but gets laid out by the corner, but that's a big play for Marquette's offense. Going to another third and six on the drive, Darren Walter draws back and gets hit while throwing. One for three passing on the drive for 17 yards, and they will force the punt on the first drive. Mitch Leidner back to pass. He will play action, dropping back. Passing it to Lynn Green on the sideline, he will gain of 14 yards. That's the very bad defense coming from the very bad players on the Marquette University team. Another drop back for Mitch Leidner, but he hands it off to Brooks, who gets it, but a they get stopped, but he breaks the tackle, but then he does get down after a one yard loss, brought down by Davion Thomas, the linebacker. We are gonna send a blitz on second and nine to try to get some pressure and sending someone in motion that will be Lynn Green dropping back to pass and he will throw it to the sideline that is Carter he gets a nice gain of 15 yards to give them another first and 10 as you can see the replay nice throw and catch coming off the blitz Mitch Leidner being very efficient on this drive they got to give it to him on the drive now with that first and 10 they're gonna hand it off to Brooks who gets laid out Brandon Walters laying the boom he is our best linebacker and you can see why here he fills the lane nicely but here Mitch Leidner keeps the read option he will go straight over the middle and pick up the first down for 11 yards this read option does figure out that we need to learn how to stop it because as you can see second and goal they hand off to Rodney Smith who busts to the outside and breaks the tackle into the end zone for the 0.5 yard touchdown rush that is his first touchdown of the day he did only have one on the day and that will be the first points Darren Walter back in the game in the pistol hands out to Rasad Burst to the left side again he makes one person miss but he gets tangled up between a bunch of defenders which will only give him a one yard rush giving him four yard carries for nine yards on this drive Darren Walter box back throws it down the field to Kyle Fisher who gets loose they left him wide open and you can't do that with any player even with the starting off players for Marquette University but now with first and ten after that big play by Kyle Fisher they do send Rashad Burst and Mustard and pitch it but it, does, it comes up with the fumble but Malcolm Goodwin does happen to pick it up but that is a minus six yard gain that's not very good but now down in third and three we're running a pass drop back Keontae McDowell makes the catch in traffic Keontae McDowell is coming up with big plays this game two receptions for 30 yards two big plays on first and ten Darren Walter under center hands off to Rashad Burtz who tries to bust it to the outside does he have the speed he makes a move he gets a first down that's the that's the kind of stuff that we need to see from the speedy back he is a speed back and not a power we need to run him away from people instead of running it down the middle Darren Walter under center again, dropping back, doesn't really see anybody open, but finds Luke, Kyle Fisher, Luke Fisher's on the basketball team, he's his brother, he makes the reception for his third reception of the game, but Marquette does have to settle for a field goal on this drive after stalling and going in fourth and seven. Next on the drive, second and one for Mitch Leidner and the Minnesota offense, it's a play action down the middle to Still, who breaks loose, but the tackle is made by Damian Richardson, touchdown saving tackle. Uh, we are trying to send a lot of blitzes this game as you can see we're trying to get the pressure and there we do our man 55 making the tackle the shoestring tackle to save a gain third and five now for Mitch Leidner in the offense he drops back to pass and he finds his tight end Lynn Green under uh, after that little curl route but here another read option breaks the tackle of our star Austin Bell breaks another tackle and does break up the first down they are just grounding and pounding this whole game now on second and goal, Mitch Leidner in the shotgun, read option and just walks into the end zone, no one was there, 
the misread by the defensive and he needs to stay put there to watch out for Mitch Leiner because he is a rushing threat and we will be facing a lot of rushing threats as quarterbacks in the back like to run. But that is the second touchdown for Minnesota. So now McDowell goes in motion, goes a little curl route and does get the reception and almost picks up the first down. He gets a 9 yard reception on the play but besides McDowell the pass game hasn't looked too well this game so we are going to try a wide receiver screen but Darren Walter can't find anybody open he tries to use his feet he does pass it to McDowell again who makes makes a move makes one person miss but can't make another person miss that was a very good improvisation by Darren Walter to get that four yard gain but now back under center the handoff to Birch who finds a hole he finds a crease but the speed isn't fast enough he is brought down after a 10 yard rush that was a big play for Marquette trying to get them in field goal range at least but now under five wide taking a shot deep and it is batted down it was a sh deep shot for Caleb Long our, one of our more depth receivers so now under center play action no one's really open trying to improvise but throws it away very cautious by Darren Walter and that's what we need to see now second and ten Dropping back to pass. Darren Walter finds him on the sideline. Did he come up with it? He did. Kyler Suggs with the 18-yard reception. And here you can see bouncing in for the first touchdown. Rashad Birch of the season. Three-yard touchdown rush for Marquette. That is the first touchdown of the season for Marquette. So you know everyone's getting hyped. It's a new program. First touchdown of the season. Everyone's getting hyped. But at the start of the third quarter, you can see Brooks getting loose. But Austin Bell does make this the big game make a little shorter as his tackle is very nice right at the marker now on second and nine rush Brooks right up the middle he almost breaks the tackle but he does drag defenders to the 16 yard line they are just finding holes and they are hitting it five point yards catch they toss it out to Rodney Smith Richardson dragging and then Lee comes and helps clean up the tackle Rodney Smith with a negative one yard rush that is a very big play by our defense trying to make this stand because we are still in this game for the first game ever in this dynasty you have to be happy with that but now third and goal trying to get the goal and stand Mitch Leidner back to pass throws it to Brooks and Richardson misses the tackle and he walks in for the touchdown there was a flag on the play but it will be offsides on the defense so that wouldn't have mattered if he made the tackle anyways but it could have saved the touchdown and you would never know but that is declined obviously for the three yard touchdown they called it a run because it's a backward pass now Darren Walter under center draws back and hits number 15 Norris Archie for his first reception of the game for eight yards another first and ten another drop back looking 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 sacked by the defender number 87 Darren Walter going down very easily now we're trying to get five wide to pick up this first down Darren Walter doing what he does best trying to improvise can't McDowell comes back and makes the catch but they are one yard shy of the first down and we do decide to punt as it is still a close game now Mitch Leidner back to pass throwing it deep to his receiver Carter who makes the catch for 24 yards big plays after big plays for this Minnesota offense is killing Marquette Mitch Leidner in the gun with Brooks behind him he hands it off to Brooks to, he busts it to the outside Richardson he gets stiff on Richardson he's going he's going will he be tackled he does get tackled finally but he is tackled at the one yard line by Malik Barber and now first and goal handoff to Rodney Smith who gets the power on our safety and drives him into the end zone with the nice stiff arm that will make it 28 to 10 with 335 left in the third it's starting to look a little ugly for Marquette they really need a score on this possession if they do want to stay in the game as Damian Richardson couldn't make that tackle on the goal line but now Darren Walter under center with the fullback he drops back He's looking for someone. He's looking for someone. He's sacked again. That was on third and seven, and now that made it fourth and twelve, and we had to punt. There's a good play though. Big play. Sometimes we do make good plays. That was number 45, Davion Thomas making the nice tackle. But now going into a third and three for them. The read option. He breaks the tackle of our corner. He breaks another tackle. He stays on it. Breaks another tackle. He Mitch Leidner is just making our defense look silly out there. And now the handoff to Rodney Smith, who breaks a tackle but gets only a three-yard rush. That was a nice gang tackle by the Marquette defense. You have to give them props on staying in this game. Now, start of the fourth quarter of read option. Mitch Leidner up the middle. He breaks the tackle and walks into the end zone for the eight-yard touchdown rush making it 35 to 10. Marquette is in desperation mode as you can see in five wide right now they are going four verticals they throw it deep it should have been picked off by Jalen Merrick of 
Minnesota, but now they're back under center. The handoff to Birch. He does find a hole, and he breaks away for eight yards. Rashad Birch has found some big holes, but besides those big holes, he's found little rushes, and that really is killing him. But now another handoff to Birch. He goes. He, he cuts up the middle. He makes a nice cut right up the middle for nine yards, making a defender miss. Now on third and one, they, we, with the speed option, we haven't run this yet, so we're going to... Try to fake out the defender. We're not, they're not ready. And he just cuts. Darren Walter just cuts it up for a nice two yard gain. Three yard rush. Sorry about that. But he does pick up the first down. Now on first and ten on the same drive, Darren Walter drops back and he's sacked. Negative eight yards. Second, that making it second and 18. Now third and two on the same drive. We do run the same speed option. Well, he could have pitched it, but he made this, the dumb decision. Tried to cut up, tried to make a man miss, and he will be going down for a loss. Now dropping back to pass. He fumbles, but Larson picks it up. So that is two, already two fumbles for this Marquette offense, but no picks yet, so that's kind of a good thing. The, he, Darren Walter did get hurt, so backup quarterback at number 11, Ty Daniel comes in. He throws it to Kyler Suggs again, who breaks the tackle and picks up the first down. What a play. Kyler Suggs has really been stepping up, but Darren Walter is back in the game after a minor injury. He throws it, and he, he drops that one. We try to get him more plays as he's making plays, but Kyler Suggs drops it. Now another five wide trying to pick up the first down, and Archie makes the catch. No, it's Archie with the nice release off the sideline, getting that nice catch. So now... In first and goal, wide open. Norris Archie drops it. That is the pains of having a small school. Receivers not having the best hands. Now on third and goal, you see wide open. Micah East drops it. That is two wide open touchdowns. Darren Walter couldn't have put any of those in better places. So now fourth and goal, dropping back. He trying to roll out, trying to make something happen and improvise, but that will be thrown away, basically leading to a turnover on downs. In the, with 328 in the third quarter, this game is basically over. The handoff to Brooks, he gets it loose. Richardson misses the tackle. He breaks another tackle, and Jones finally brings him down. That is the just the epitome of this game, just showing exactly why they are just better than us. Austin Bell making a nice play on Mitch Leidner. I wish that would have came sooner, but Mitch Leidner definitely took a hit there, showing that Marquette isn't playing around and that we will be a force to come when we do come in the Big Ten. But as you can see, Brooks is just making us look silly, breaking three tackles on the plate, going for the 19 rush, and having 155 yards on the day so far. So the last play of the game, 18 seconds left, they are going to run the ball. Mitch Leidner is going to keep it, and he this is the, just shows exactly what we can stop the read option, right up the middle for 18 yards. But this will be the stats. As you can see, Darren Walter, no interceptions, which was good, but no touchdown. Rashad Burst did have 62 yards and 16 carries. Darren Walter had a few nice rushes. And then Kayante McDowell, nice six yard reception for 72 yards. And Suggs played very well. He is definitely going to get more playing time as he made some key catches. He also dropped one, though. As you can see, our star safety, Austin Bell, making eight solo tackles. And then our other safety, Darren Richardson, making eight tackles, which is good, but it's also not good, meaning our safeties are making a lot of tackles, meaning they're breaking into the secondary. I didn't see kicker one for one. But this is for Minnesota. We just couldn't stop any of them. Look, Mitch Leidner, one incompletion, 155 yards, 109 yards for Mitch Leidner and Brooks. That's a ton of yards. Rodney also had some. They didn't even have to pass on us just because they knew they were better than us. But that is going to be it for the first episode of the NCAA Marquette Team Builder Dynasty. I hope you guys did enjoy. Please tell me in the comment section below what you think I could do differently because I know it was very weird. It's my first ever game commentating, so please don't go too harshly on me. I will get better as time goes, and that just will get better with time. But leave a comment if you think my video should be shorter, be longer, if I if you like the little thing on the side. If you don't, if you'd rather just see the gameplay and no instant fame like sports center thing, just please let me know because I would want to know what you guys think. And leave a like if you did enjoy. Please subscribe if you're new and have a great day. Peace!